This is Vijay Kumar from Naresh Technologies and today's session and I am going to explain about uh, procedures, stored procedures. One of the most important topic in uh, PLSQL. In previous video, so I explained about uh, functions and today's video I am going to explain about uh, procedures, stored procedures. So what is stored procedures? and what for stored procedures are created. A stored procedure is also a named PLSQL block. It accepts some input with the help of parameters and performs some task and may or may not return a value. A stored procedure is also a named PLSQL block that accepts some parameters in the form of uh, that, that accepts some input in the form of parameters and may or may not return a value. So, what for stored procedures are created? And stored procedures are mainly created to perform one or more DML operations over database. So, to perform one or more operations over DML operations over database and we create stored procedures. Like for example, I want to insert, I want to update, I want to delete. So, I want to perform this insert and update or I want to perform update and delete or I want to perform delete and insert. So, to perform one or more DML operations over database, we create stored procedures. So, uh, in this session, we will see how to uh, create a stored procedure and uh, how to execute the stored procedure and what is the syntax for creating the stored procedure and the syntax is create or replace procedure, procedure name, parameters if any create or replace procedure, procedure name, parameters if any is variables begin statements and that is all. The simple, so just creating stored procedure is as simple as uh, a normal PLSQL program. Okay? So, create or replace procedure, procedure name, parameters if any and the most important part in creating stored procedure is parameters. Okay? The most important part is parameters. So, what for we use parameters and parameters are mainly uh, used to pass values. We declare the parameters and we pass values to the parameters. The purpose of using parameters is to pass values. So, in normal PLSQL program like anonymous block, how you input the values by using ampersand substitution variables using ampersand. But when it comes to procedures, how you input the values uh, using parameters. If you want to pass some value to the procedure, you can pass values to the procedures in the form of parameters. So, we declare the parameters and we can pass values to the parameters. So, these parameters are mainly three types. One is in parameter, another one out parameter and another one in out parameters. So, and if you do not declare any uh, type for example, if you do not mention in, out, in, out, by default the parameter is in parameter. So, in is what? Default. So, if you do not declare the parameter type, by default the parameter is in parameter. So, then what is this in, what is this out and what is this in, out? So, in parameter always receives value, out parameter always sends value and in, out parameter receives as well as sends. So, in parameter always receives value and out parameter always sends value and in out parameter receives as well as sends. So, let us see this diagram then assume I created a procedure and the in that procedure I declared three parameters one parameter is x, one parameter is y, one parameter is z and what is x is? x is in parameter and y is out parameter and z is in parameter. Next, so I created a procedure with three parameters and after that the procedure is executed from some program. We create the procedures because these procedures and functions are called sub programs. We create the sub programs and the sub programs are executed from some other program. So, that program is called calling program. What is calling program is the program that is calling the procedure. So, that can be uh, 
another plsql program or that can be java program or that can be a dot net program so the program that is calling the procedure is called calling program so the program is calling the procedure and the procedure should be invoked with three parameters so the procedure is invoked with three parameters a b c the procedure is created with three parameters x y z and the procedure is called with three parameters and the pr three parameters are a b c so then when this procedure is executed then the value of a is passed to x because x is in parameter the value of a is passed to x because in parameter always receives value from calling program so from the calling program the value of a is passed to x next y is out parameter out parameter always send the value so y is sending the value so the parameter b receives the value that is coming from procedure out parameter sends value so the calling program in the calling program there is a parameter b that receives the value that is coming from y and next z is in out parameter it receives value as well as it sends value so z is in in out parameter it receives value as well as it sends value then so what c receives uh, first the value of c is sent to z and and the z value is passed to c because z is in out it receives as well as sends so first the value of c is passed to z and procedure is executed once execution is completed the value of z is passed to c so this is the parameter passing mechanism so x is in receives value y is out sends value and z is in out receives and sends now so let's see one example so i'm creating a procedure and what for i'm creating a procedure i'm creating creating a procedure to update the employee salary this procedure has to increment a particular employee salary by some amount okay this procedure has to increment the particular employee salary by some amount for example here so the employee number is 7844 and amount is 1000 for example so i'm i'm updating like this update emp set sal equal to sal plus 1000 where employee number equal to 7844 so whenever you execute this procedure this procedure will increment 7844 salary but so i want to increment a different employee salary then i don't know this uh, employee number at compile time i know this employee number at run time so even this value is passed from a calling program might be java program okay so then i don't know this employee number i know this employee number at run time so that's why what i am doing is i am declaring a parameter i am declaring a parameter that is e so what is this parameter type is in in parameter and the data type of this parameter is number and what is this e receives this e receives employee number from where it receives this employee number it receives employee number from calling program suppose for example the value that e receives is 7844 7844 salary should be incremented the value that e receives 7369 7369 salary should be incremented so whatever the value employee number is passed to e that particular employee salary should be incremented so here in place of this 7844 i am using this parameter e okay suppose the value passed to is 7369 so 7369 salary is incremented the value passed to is 7499 so 7499 salary is incremented so whatever the employee number is passed to e that particular employee salary is in incremented and one more thing so this procedure always increment salary by 1000 so but sometimes i want to increment salary by 1000 sometimes 2000 sometimes 500 sometimes 3000 but this will always increment salary by 1000 so when you are creating procedures so what is recommended is try to avoid hard coding better don't do hard coding so better to use parameters or variables so this hard coding should be avoided better to use either parameters or variables then so even 
I don't know this amount at compile time. I know this amount at run time. So at run time, this uh, amount is passed. So whatever the amount is passed, that particular um, that that amount should be incremented. The salary should be incremented by that much amount. So then that's why what I'm doing is I'm taking another parameter for amount. This also in parameter. This also receive the value. So whatever the amount this parameter receives, the salary should be incremented by that much value. So here in place of thousand, I use AMT. So using this procedure, you can increment a specific employee's salary by specific amount. So using this procedure, you can increment a specific employee's salary by specific amount. So the employee, whatever the employee number is passed to E, that particular employee's salary is incremented. And salary is incremented by how much depends on the value passed to this AMT. For example, the value passed to is 69 and the value passed to AMT is 1000, then 7369 salary is incremented by 1000. The value passed to is 7499 and the value passed to AMT is 500, then 7499 salary is incremented by 500. Okay, then so I am incrementing the salary. When this update is completed, then I am executing this commit. After update, I am executing the commit. So then this update becomes what? Permanent. So this update is saved. After updating, the salary is modified. The employee salary is modified. I want to send this new salary to the calling program. So the calling program is expecting the modified salary, the new salary of the employee. Updated the salary and after that the operation is committed. Then next I want to send this new salary to the calling program. So what calling program is expecting is calling program is expecting new salary. Then, so if you want to send something from procedure then take out parameter. You want to receive something ca coming from calling program take in parameter. If you want to send something from calling uh, from procedure take out parameter. So here I have taken one out parameter, the out parameter is S. So what for you have taken this out parameter because so I want to send uh, the updated salary to the calling program. So I have taken out parameter, take out parameter, whatever the value you want to send, assign that value to the out parameter and the whatever the value is assigned to out parameter, that value is automatically sent to the calling program. In the calling program, you can receive that value. So your duty is declare an out parameter, assign the value to the out parameter. Whatever is assigned to the out parameter, that value is automatically sent to the calling program. So next what I am doing is, I am getting the updated salary. So using the select statement, I am getting the updated salary and the updated salary is assigned to S. What is this S is? S is out parameter. So getting the new salary, the new salary is assigned to the out parameter whose employee number equals to E. Okay. So the updated salary is selected and the updated salary is assigned to so this out parameter S. So let us create this procedure. First we will create this procedure after creating this procedure and we will execute this procedure. So I am going to SQL plus. So procedure is created. Okay. Procedure is created means this particular code whatever the code you have written that code is compiled and this is stored in database. Now whenever you want you can execute this procedure. Okay. So whenever you want you can execute this procedure. Then now I want to execute this procedure. So to execute this procedure, so you can execute this procedure from SQL prompt or you can execute this procedure from another PLSQL program or you can execute this procedure from any front end application. You can execute this procedure from SQL prompt or you can execute this procedure from another PLSQL program or you can execute this procedure from any front end application. So suppose let us see how to execute this procedure from SQL prompt because in procedure is created with out parameter. So out parameter send the value here I have to receive the value to receive the value I declare a variable. So I am declaring a variable how to declare variable at SQL prompt variable k number. So I am declaring this variable 
to receive the value that is coming from procedure because procedure is created without parameter that send the value to receive that value I am declaring a variable k then next execute the procedure execute so what is the command to execute the procedure execute procedure name what is the procedure name is raise salary then so pass employee number and one more thing before executing the procedure let us see what is the salary of the employee so select employee number salary from EMP so what is the salary of 7369 the salary of 7369 is 800 let us execute the procedure execute procedure name is price salary so employee number is 7369 suppose 1000 next colon k I declared a variable the variable is k and what this variable is called bind variable and the bind variables are accessed by using colon operator the value of this 7369 this 7369 is passed to e and this 1000 is passed to amt so first this value 7369 is passed to e and this value 1000 is passed to amt and procedure is executed so what this update command is doing this update command is incrementing 7369 salary by 1000 so 7369 salary is incremented by 1000 so so here e is replaced with 7369 amt is replaced with 1000 so 7369 salary is incremented by 1000 and the operation is saved and what this select statement is getting the new salary the actual salary of the employee is 800 plus 1000 so incremented by 1000 now it is updated with 1800 and the select statement is selecting the new salary that is 1800 and that value is assigned to s what is this s is s is out parameter and this out parameter value sent to calling program in the calling program k will receive that value so procedure is sending the value so that value k will receive that value so execute the procedure and i am executing the procedure PLS skill project successfully completed just go and see the 7369 salary and select EMP NVO sal from EMP select EMP NVO salary from EMP so otherwise you can you can it's it's updated in the table otherwise you can also see the new salary the new salary is passed to K if you want to print the value of K print to colon K so what the new salary is 1800 so it is it is procedure is sending the updated salary so that k will receive that value i'm printing the value of k and even if you go and see the salary in table from emp and so 7369 salary is updated with 1800 so this is like how to create a procedure and how to execute the procedure in today's uh, this video so you learnt how to create a procedure and how to execute the procedure plus how to use in parameters out parameters and in out parameters so thank you for watching this video for more videos subscribe to Nalesh IT.